Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm the owner of Teaching Math and More LLC. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we're into the series Math Stations Made Easy with video two. Today on how do you organize math stations, talking about how to effectively implement, organize, and teach with math stations. Math stations can be a great tool for intervention in your classroom too. Before we begin, if you'd like to access the notes, you can grab them at bit.ly forward slash station notes. The notes follow along with all four videos in the series, Mass Stations Made Easy. Also, at the end of the guide, you can access a set of free mass stations. Now, let's get started. Mass Stations Made Easy is designed to show you how simple it is to use this one tool to provide math intervention and instruction to every student at their level. In the last video, we looked at how math stations can help struggling kids in math class, how stations practice and apply key math skills, and how to start applying math in word problems with stations that work. How can you organize math stations? First, find a system that works in your classroom. The best systems are the ones that have a simplified process, provide clear directions for students to understand and follow, and it's easy for you to set up and implement too. One method for organization is the use of book bins. Math stations can use book bins with each bin holding the appropriate materials for each station. Label your book bins numbers one to six. These can be separated into six bins, with each bin having directions and an activity included. Students can work independently or in groups with the bins. Another method that works well is using table tents. These separate math stations into six different table groups. Each table then has the directions and activity for each group. Students can also work independently or in groups at the table. Why should you organize your math stations? It will create less stress for you in the future. The kids will have a routine and know the expectations for math stations. You will have more time for you with a system that works. One of my favorite quotes, for every minute spent organizing, an hour is earned, Benjamin Franklin. This is the truth. When you have your math stations organized, it will save you time and provide greater learning gains for your students. Another concern many teachers have is what can you do to help all the students who struggle with math stations? Well, this is where we have to teach students what their role is. So student role is that students learn to practice and apply math skills in their groups. If they need help, they need to ask for help from classmates first than the teacher. This promotes finding a solution, not just from one person. On the flip side, if students struggle, you can also provide support as the facilitator. So your role, the teacher role, is walking around the classroom and helping students when they need help. You can also teach at a teacher station and provide more support and intervention. The teacher station is also great for informal assessments that are ongoing. Equip your students with the tools they need to succeed. One, organization of the math stations in your classroom. Two, directions at each math station or table group. Three, group support by teaching students the ask three rule. The ask three rule gives students help and support that they need when they need it the most. The ask three rule is something that you should use often. It's when students are told to ask three other classmates their question before coming to you, the teacher, and asking you the question. Students can also be referred to rereading the directions. And another additional support is looking in their textbook or notebook for support. It's not cheating. It's the reference tool. Giving students technology is another great additional support. Have students use a computer 
applications, or website. This is a math station that is generally overlooked, but it is key to filling in those gaps that your students will have in math. How do you teach students to start the math station's learning process? You just implement it. First, do three stations to start with. After the students get comfortable, introduce more math stations. Remember, go at your own pace. This is not a race. Do what you feel comfortable with first and what your students feel comfortable with. Best practices with math stations. Students who complete all seven math stations will gain a greater understanding of the math concepts. These are evidence-based strategies that are better when used together. Use all seven math stations with confidence in your classroom. Make it easy for yourself with math stations. Students who have used math stations have more confidence in math after completing the seven stations, building upon their prior knowledge independently and in a group setting. Subscribe to the Teaching Math and More channel to be notified when video three of our series, Math Stations Made Easy, is available. In the next video, we will go over tips for time management, what math stations look like, and expectations for math stations. To access the notes to this video and the others, go to bit.ly forward slash station notes. Thanks for watching. How do you organize math stations? I hope this gave you great insight to start organizing math stations in your classroom today.